Greetings, everyone, and welcome to part 11 of my 2012 DVD and Blu-ray collection overview. Um, so today, we've got kind of a mix of stuff. Last time, we took a look at uh, most of the rest of my 80s cartoon collection and a few other random cartoons thrown into the mix and related stuff. Today, we're actually uh, just going to take a look at this top shelf here. This shelf contains all of my cop shows and detective shows, uh, some espionage and action adventure stuff, and a few uh, classic epic films and war films and things like that. So uh, let's see what we got today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, so since we're only doing one shelf today, um, I had to try to figure out how to just put that one shelf on when really two shelves fit quite comfortably in the picture. So you can see like part of the horror shelf, which we'll be talking about next time, and part of the box sets up there, which we'll be talking about in a few episodes time. Okay, so anyway, we're just going to talk about this shelf for now. It's probably going to be a fairly short episode because there's a lot of big sets in here and yeah, whatever. Anyway, this is mostly uh, cop shows and detective shows. And then we get into some espionage here. And then there's some classics and foreign, well, not really foreign. But there's some classics, a couple war films, and just some random stuff in there. All right, so let's take a look uh, up here first off. We have, well, let's just get all the ones off the top here and we'll take a look. So we have Bullet Down Under which is basically a low-budget Australian uh, movie. The only reason I got it is because it has Jacko Jackson in it, and uh, I always remembered him from the Energizer commercials in the 80s. Plus, he was also the co-star of The Highwayman with Sam Jones from Flash Gordon. And, uh, you know, a short-lived TV series that nobody but me probably remembers. And then we have Untraceable, which is basically a thriller. I don't really have a thriller section, so... I just stuck it up here with all the other stuff. And then we've got Dogville, which was uh, one that Dr. Brill sent me. I'm not actually sure what type of film it is because I haven't watched it yet. So I just put it here with all the other stuff. Uh, then we have Blood, Guts, Bullets, and Octane, uh, directed by Joe Carnahan, who was, uh, as it says here, the director of NARC. I really liked NARC a lot, so I picked this up because it's his first uh, film. And, uh, I mean, it's a typical low-budget actioner, kind of trying to be a Tarantino film. And um, it succeeds in some ways, others not so much. But overall, fun movie. Time Code, wonderful independent film. Uh, basically, the whole thing is done in split screen. And you have four stories going simultaneously that, uh, there we go, that's a little better that uh, intertwine with each other and the, the sound fades up and down between them and uh, this DVD is loaded with extras you can actually watch each of the four frames with their own individual sound and see each part of the story individually so it's like getting four movies in one and then they did it all in one take and then there's another uh, they have one of the early takes on here as well as an extra so you actually get like five versions of the movie on there technically speaking uh, great stuff Okay, so here we have some of the greatest cop shows ever made. We've got seasons one and two of Hill Street Blues. And, uh, great show. I wish they'd released the other, what, five or six seasons? That would be really nice. Sadly, the DVD releases are in limbo. Another one that sadly the DVD releases are in limbo is one of the other greatest cop shows ever made, NYPD Blue, featuring a very young pre-CSI Miami David Caruso. So here we have all four seasons that have been released thus far, and seasons five through what, 12 or 11? I think there was 11 seasons. Um, yeah, the rest of them are in limbo. We have no idea if they're ever going to finish them. They did re-release seasons one and two in slimmer packaging. This is the original uh, thicker packaging release, which I actually like a little better. I think it's a little classier. And then... Uh, and they just kind of simplified them down like this. 
but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm really hoping they'll release the rest of that because NYPD Blue is probably my all-time favorite cop show of all time. It's great stuff. Then we have Brooklyn South. I should mention these are both uh, Stephen Bochco productions. He's kind of famous for doing cop shows. Brooklyn South was another one of his. Uh, really good show, but uh, just didn't catch on for some reason and uh, only lasted one season. Then, from the creator of Miami Vice, which you can just barely see the complete set of up there, we'll look at that in another episode, we have both seasons of Crime Story, which is a great uh, sort of period yeah, crime drama uh, about a special unit of the police force in the, uh, I guess, the early 60s, trying to take down the local mob boss in Las Vegas. Well, actually, this, this season's in Las Vegas. I forget uh, where this season was set. Um, Chicago, yeah. So this one's Chicago, this one's Las Vegas. Anyway, uh, great series. I mean, it really has the feel of a movie. It's just fantastic. And then we got Police Squad in color. <laughs> Originally shown on TV in 1982, I think it was. But uh, yeah, this, of course, is the TV series that the Naked Gun movies are based on. Uh, very, very funny. In fact, you'll notice they recycled some of the jokes from it in the in the movies. Then we have all that has been released thus far of Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer. Um, this here is a set of the original two pilot movies, and then this is actually the uh, sort of a, a revival series that they did a few years after the original series was cancelled, and generally not considered quite as good. But, um, yeah, so one hopes that eventually they'll fill in the gaps and give us the rest of Mike Hammer because, um, you know, he's one of the all-time great private eyes. And then we have the Mill Creek Collection, uh, the Primetime Crime Collection, 40 hours, 54 episodes of Stephen J. Cannell uh, classic crime drama. There's some great stuff on here, uh, some really good, uh, really good shows. A lot of short-lived shows that uh, didn't really get much of a chance, so this is the only time they've ever been released on DVD, which is great. Ah, and then here we have Columbo, one of the all-time great private eyes of ever. Just one of the all-time great characters of television. Uh, Peter Falk just uh, passed away a couple years ago, I guess, or a year ago. I guess it was about a year ago. And, uh, yeah, just a uh, fantastic show. Love it. So I actually have the complete series of the original Columbo series, which ran for, uh, oops, actually ran for seven seasons. Uh, it was sort of seasons. It was basically like movies of the week, and then uh, they just did like a lot of them, I guess. <laughs> they would do like six or seven a year, and then uh, there you go. So that is the complete original series of Columbo right there, all seven uh, seasons. And then, I don't know why they printed this one backwards, like putting the front on the back and the back on the front. Um, and then after the series ended, they kept bringing it back for movies of the week. So we got the Mystery Movie Collection from 1990, the Mystery Movie Collection from 1991 to 93, and the Mystery Movie Collection from 1994 to 2003. I'm actually missing one. I'm missing the 1989 collection and that will fully complete the Columbo set. So I just need to track down the 89 collection, slot in right there, and then I will have every single Columbo movie ever made. And here we got a couple more private eyes. We got uh, season one of Simon and Simon, great uh, you know, brothers duo of private eyes. And then Peter Gunn, which is the, um, it's not the original series, it's actually the 1989 um, reunion movie, which doesn't feature any of the original cast. <laughs> but it's very well written, and it does, of course, feature the original uh, theme song. It actually is written by, uh, or directed by Blake Edwards. So, yeah, it's uh, very good stuff. And then here we have La Femme Nikita. I actually mentioned this briefly during one of the Blu-ray uh, overviews, because I actually have the original French movie of this as well. Um, I actually need to reacquire the second season. I used to have it, um, but sold it the last time I had to sell a bunch of stuff. And, um, yeah, so now I have seasons one, three, four, and five, and that's, they only did five seasons, so. Uh, I do not have any of the new Nikita series, which just started 
uh, I guess last year, um, which apparently is quite different from the old series. But um, I've heard it's quite good. I might, I, I'm sure I'll check it out at some point. But uh, I really want to finish finish that set first. Um, I'm actually in the middle of watching the fourth season, so I've actually almost seen the entire series, and it's uh, really good stuff. And here we have some uh, director's stuff, basically. Uh, Duel, which is Steven Spielberg's uh, feature film debut, just a fantastic movie. Um, here and then Koyanis Katsi and Pawa Katsi. If any of you out there are fans of Baraka and that type of thing, where it's just all visuals and music and there's no narration or anything, this, these are the movies that sort of originated that. Um, there's a third one as well called no, no Koi Katsi or something like that. Um, yeah, it's actually a trilogy. So these are the first two. And it's uh, produced by Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas. And uh, yeah, so very cool stuff. Uh, definitely worth checking out, especially if you like Baraka. I actually think these are better than Baraka, to be honest. Um, and I really hope that they get Blu-ray releases sometime soon. And here we have a couple that I got from a viewer. We have a uh, sort of creepy hotel room theme here. We've got uh, 1408 and The Lost Room, which is uh, actually a, a short-lived TV series. So very cool. And then we have a Tarantino film here. we got Jackie Brown, which is one of the few Tarantino films I have not seen yet. And then a couple of just random war films. We've got The Thin Red Line and Black Hawk Down, the three-disc deluxe edition. I actually used to have the novel of Black Hawk Down, the actual true story of what happened to the soldiers there. And uh, I don't know that I have it anymore. I can't seem to find it anywhere. It may have been sold without my knowledge. Um, and then finally, we have Ben-Hur, the four-disc collector's edition. This is probably going to disappear from my collection very soon because I really want to get that uh, that big deluxe Blu-ray set that uh, came out recently and uh, maybe you'll see that the next time I do an update or an overview. Ah, and that is that. So next time we're going to go down to the next couple shelves and check out the horror section. So uh, be sure to turn the lights down real low for that one. Alrighty, well, that is it from me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara.